Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you my healthy morning routine on a Sunday. This is not my everyday routine, but usually one where it's a day off probably twice a week. Now first thing I will reach out the moment I wake up is the bottle of water next to my bed. I drink water throughout the night when I'm sleeping too. I don't know why, but it has been this way all my life. And of course, the next thing I guess most of us will do is going to the bathroom. I'll usually splash some water on my face just to wake my skin up. I won't do the whole face wash routine. And of course, I'll also brush my teeth. Once all is done, I'll go back to my bedroom and make my bed. If this was a busy day for me where I'll have to get up too early in the morning, I'll most probably skip this routine. <laughs> After that, I'll walk to the kitchen and grab some more water. I know, I drink like a fish, right? Next, I'll wash the dishes left from last night. I don't really have the habit of washing dishes right after I'm done eating, but sometimes I will depending on my mood. And when I'm done with the dishes, I'll go to the living room and do a little bit of tidying up. Since I've already vacuumed the mop floor, dusting and laundry, I don't have to do it again till a few days later. Okay, I'm ready to change into my workout clothes and head to the gym downstairs. I'll usually just work out at home if I'm in a rush, but since today is my day off, I can take a much longer time to work out. First thing I'll do is some warm-ups. My workout routine is nothing fancy, just what I'm comfortable doing that I feel is sustainable for me. I'll usually do the ab roller for my abs. My problematic area has always been my tummy and I think this exercise works to tone up my midsection. But of course, diet is very important too. Now after I'm done with the roller, I'll straight away get into squats. It really helps perk up my behind since I have quite a lot of it. The last thing I want is a saggy butt. After I'm done with my squats, I'll jump into a bicycle for my cardio workout. I always prefer the bicycle comparing to the treadmill because I heard it's better for your back. After around 45 minutes, I'm done. I started exploring meditation only two days ago and I'm determined to make it a part of my everyday routine. Once in the morning and once in the evening before I go to bed. I've never understood what meditation was all about until someone advised me to give it a try and I have to say that I felt so much happier and relaxed after that. It's almost magical and has definitely helped me cope with life struggles tremendously. After my meditation, I'll spend another 5 to 10 minutes to do my face yoga. It really helps with anti-aging and I swear by this. So I'm finally home after my workout, meditation and face yoga. And next, I'm waiting for my tarot card reader. This part of my morning is a little bonus I give for myself. And of course, I don't seek for a tarot reading unless I find myself on a crossroad, needing spiritual guidance to help affirm my decisions. Anthony is very accurate with his reading because whatever he told me before came true. And this time around, he gave me really really good news. So I was really happy and I'm excited to a very positive life ahead of me. Alright, now that all is done, I feel so sticky from the workout and I really need to jump into my shower. And as usual, right after shower, I'll lather body lotion all over my body and uh, I'm so sorry I forgot to show you that I've also cleansed and scrubbed my face in the shower. I've also applied a face moisturizer after that. Now that I've changed and all I have to do is dry my hair before I go make my lunch. 
Yeah, I know, this is supposed to be a morning routine and I did wake up around 8.30am but finally when all is done, it's already 12.30pm. Not forgetting that I'm shooting this morning routine and hence the delay. For lunch, I'm making an avocado egg and cheese wrap. I love avocados. I can eat it on its own with sprinkles of sea salt on it. And of course, I love cheese and I can't live without it. Probably not the best for someone who is on a diet like I am, but well, everything in moderation. Thank you everyone for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed my video. I guess I'll see you on my next one.